I'm Nathan Kress. I played Den on Tell Me How I Die. Uh, he doesn't technically have a last name. I have decided that it is Verbronco. So, little Easter egg for you there. When I fill out my application at the beginning, that's the name that I put on it. I think the biggest thing that drew me to this project was just that it was something I hadn't really heard of, and this definitely hit all the notes, in my opinion, of what makes a good psychological thriller. You don't really know what's real and what's not. So it's a really intriguing way of, of looking at this story, and it'll, it, it'll keep you guessing, which it definitely did for me, and I, I hope it does for the audience, too. Den is, uh, he's kind of hard to get a grasp on at the beginning of the movie because he's a very quiet guy. So you don't really necessarily know what all of his intentions are. You just kind of get the feel that he is the good guy and that's what makes him a safe person to be around. So uh, he gravitates very quickly to certain people and then he's also kind of at odds with people who kind of go against what I think his core ideology is and that sets him up for some interesting conflict in the course of the movie. Definitely a big difference from doing a teen show, absolutely. There's, uh, there's a lot more blood, probably just as much running around. The cardio has been very similar, but I think this is also very much a direction that I want to go, you know, going into adulthood and kind of opening myself up to playing older characters who are in older situations. And this is really new for me in a lot of ways, and I think it's gonna be really new for uh, pretty much anyone who's ever seen anything else that I've ever done. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little bit of a learning experience for all of us, but I'm excited to see where it goes. Now that I know what is involved in a clinical trial, I'm gonna have to be really strapped for cash before I get to the point where I'm going to let someone inject me with a drug. However, I feel like what happens in this movie has to be fairly rare, otherwise you'd hear about it a whole lot more on the news. So, if it's just where you go and hang out for a weekend and get paid money to sit around and play video games and play pool and watch TV and hang out with a bunch of other people our age, then I guess it's not such a bad deal. You just always are signing yourself up for that potential risk of getting murdered. It's pretty rare for like the first day, everybody to just be, you know, best friends by the time you get to the end of it. But I felt really good about the group that we were with, really kind of from the beginning. And it kind of stinks because I'm pretty darn good friends with Mark Furs, who plays Marcus, and I'm supposed to hate him for the majority of the movie. So it's actually getting kind of hard to, you know, be around those guys that you like when you're not supposed to like them. We've gotten really close just in the last what 16 days that we've that we've been working together seeing everybody be just really talented and on point and do really difficult scenes together it just it makes it makes your performance so much easier when you're with people who are just as into it as you are and that's been an awesome thing having a whole group of people who feels that exact same way i never really considered myself much of a scary movie guy but i think there's also different tiers of that i do love thrillers in a lot of ways i would consider this movie to be much more of a, a psychological thriller than a pure horror movie. I think it makes you think a lot more than your traditional slasher flick. The audience gets taken for a loop in this movie and it gets to the point where you can't trust the narrator because we're going to give you information and then rip that information out of your hands and slap you in the face for thinking that you knew what you were talking about. Get ready because you're gonna be in for a heck of a ride. <laughs> 